You know, um, the, there's a emotional approach and emotional discipline prior to a game that you have to have. But the fact of the matter is, this is an emotional game. And whenever we were in game, uh, game mode, uh, there was no emotional response whatsoever. And we didn't make any plays on top of it on all three phases uh, to get the emotion and the uh, momentum changed in the other way. You know, the, you looked at the crazy field goal attempt. Uh, Mason falls down, bench is open from here to my house on the pylon for an easy touchdown. We don't make the play. And uh, Matt scrambles down here in the low red. And, uh, you know, we miss Broden on an end line. You know, you make those plays. The next thing you know, it's 17-10, and you're in a football game. And uh, we just didn't make plays. And uh, we just did not have the emotional response during the game that you need to have uh, when things aren't going necessarily well. Well, we, we, we've got to fix it. I mean, the one thing that I can say about our team, and I love our kids. I, I feel like, I mean, I'm not sitting here bashing. I love our kids. I love our kids more than anything. Um, and I'm not throwing them under the bus. I, this is my responsibility. But I haven't put my finger. It's the first time in my career whenever it's a relevant game, the prep was through the roof, the um, – Attention to detail during the week was outstanding. Um, the emotional uh, preparation prior to the game was great. You had an opportunity for a relevant game, and then everything went bad. And um, I'm still trying to figure that piece out. And um, it's a piece that I've been going through my head of every scenario. We, we've cut down practice to make sure they were fresh. You name it, we did it. And uh, it's just really disappointing that, uh, th that it occurred the way that it did. I mean, be, I've never been more disappointed in a long time. When it comes to the chaos that is the match, is a team like Miami coming, how do you regroup? How do you kind of let this one go? In a time? Well, everything's out there. The, you know, the leader of the, our side is, uh, uh, has zero losses in the MAC, and everyone else is one and one besides Akron. And, um, you know, there's still a ton of football to be played. The MAC is chaotic. Um, Lord knows what's going to happen. Uh, we see teams uh, week in and week out do what we did. And uh, hopefully uh, we don't go down this path again. And just like I said, I wanted to be competitive in every single MAC game. And where I'm disappointed is we were not competitive on, uh, on Saturday. And I'm beyond disappointed. Like, flabbergasted, disappointed. When it comes to Miami, turning the page, what kind of challenges do you guys Great defense, extremely disciplined, know how to win. Um, they finally, uh, over the last, in my opinion, since I entered the MAC, he went through, and he's said it to me a 100 times, he's went through the same things that we're going through right now, how to win, how to do this, how to do that. Um, I think they know how to win, plain and simple. They're extremely def uh, uh, disciplined. In all three phases, uh, they, um, they play really sound, tough defense. I mean, really sound, tough defense. And they just don't make mistakes. And uh, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to go back and do the things that we've been doing that gives ourselves a chance to win. We need to be emotionally invested in the game from play one, regardless of what happens, bad, good, or indifferent. Hang in there. Go play our style of football. And, uh, you know, to win this game, you're going to have to go out and earn it. They're not going to give you one thing. This isn't going to be a deal where they're going to bust a coverage. And they're not. They're extremely disciplined. And um, we got to go out and take it, and we got to earn it, and we got to play sound football. You know, we have been great with penalties and had four turnovers. We've been fairly good with penalties and had 12 penalties. I mean, what are we doing? So, interesting. Well, the, the turn, I, I've never seen more crazier turnovers in my career, like ball on the one-yard line going in to score. They rip it from our, our, our young running back. Jiasen's going in uh, to put the 
put the uh, uh, us in position to be on the four yard line. We get stripped from behind. Um, the um, short yardage play down here on the 90 yard touchdown, we're in a bare front and they're running inside zone. And as an offensive coach, you're jumping up and down for three to four yards, two yards versus a bare front. And we misfit the gap and it goes for 90. Uh, they were in the right defense, completely the right defense, a bare front, run an inside zone, come on. Like any offensive line coach would say, that's an uphill play. And uh, we misfit the gap, and the next thing you know, it went for 90. Um, so, you know, those are the things that, I mean, you name it, every single thing went bad that could ever possibly go bad, and it did. And uh, Matt's interception was uh, versus a three-man rush, three deep, uh, uh, five underneath, uh, three-man go. And uh, he's seen that defense 100 times, and the ball should be on the check down. So we did some things that were completely absurd, completely outside the box. And like I said, I don't know why, but I got to take responsibility. I got to figure it out. But we did things that we haven't done around here since I've been here, to be quite honest with you. So that's my job to figure it out. I'm meeting with the leadership council today, and uh, we need to figure it out and not let this happen again is the moral of the story.